So one of the biggest updates and news about the NBA right now is that the NBA is actually exposing the true heights of many NBA players. For this season, the NBA has a new rule that requires every single team to verify a player's height and age before the season starts. The NBA actually made this rule before the ending of last season, saying that they must submit each player's height and age within the first week of training camp. And as I'm making this video, training camp is done. With that rule taking place, there are many NBA players out there who has had their height readjusted. And us as NBA fans find this very, very interesting. And in this video, I'm going to go over the most standout height changes in the NBA today. So yeah, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. This video is about NBA players and their new confirmed and verified heights. If you are new to the channel and love basketball, be sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss any of my upcoming videos just like this. The first player is Tobias Harris, who was previously listed at six foot and nine inches, but now listed at 6.7. That is a big role because he is a small forward power forward player, but in NBA standards, his height is definitely a shooting guard to small forward role. Another one was Joel Embiid, this isn't a big difference, it's just a 1 inch of difference. It is 7 feet as his previously listed height, but now he's listed as 6'11". One that everybody's talking about is Zion Williamson, the number 1 pick of this year's NBA rookie draft. He was listed at 6.7 during the draft, but now after confirmation, he is listed at 6'6". To be completely honest, when I watched Zion play, he seemed a little bit shorter than the other power forwards on the other teams, so I personally did question his height. But it doesn't matter because Zion has hops and can jam it, whether he's tall or not. One big update is Marvin Bagley of the Sacramento Kings. He was previously listed at 6'11 and now listed at 6'8. That is actually a big difference, guys. Three inches is a big difference, especially if his positioning is a power forward center. That height is LeBron James height, which means he should be playing the small forward power forward. But of course, his playing style is more of the front court center power forward. A small update is Luka Doncic, the previous Rookie of the Year. He was listed at 6'7 before and now he's listed at 6'6. Ben Simmons previously listed at 6'10, now listed at 6'9. Then we got Al Horford listed at 6'10, now listed at 6'9. This one kind of surprised me. Al Horford did seem like a tall center when visually looking at it. But of course guys, this is his actual height, 6'9. Isaiah Thomas, known as the shortest player in the NBA, was listed at 5'9", but his updated height is 5'8". Draymond Green, guys, listed at 6'7", his actual height 6'5". Draymond Green definitely is an undersized power forward and center, but definitely his playing style makes him a better big man. PJ Tucker, listed at 6'6", actual height 6'5". Dwight Howard, listed at 6'11", and they say his actual height is 6'9". That's actually crazy. Howard looks like a 7-footer to me, but actually, he's a 6'9 player. And Kevin Durant, a shocking one. He is listed at 6'9", but his actual height is 6'10", which means Kevin Durant actually grew, which is insane because he is one of the best fast small forwards in the league and if he's 6'10 dominating at the small forward position the NBA is definitely in trouble but yeah guys there are so many updated heights out there but these are more of the standout ones that people actually care about I'm pretty sure a lot more are gonna drop soon so you guys should keep an eye on that but yeah the NBA just exposed a lot of NBA players NBA players are actually shorter than we thought but because the NBA is such an important and very popular league they do want their players to be recognized as tall players but still guys, you don't gotta lie, just be honest. But yeah, as of right now, this is a video of how the NBA exposed NBA players true heights. If you love the video and agree to my opinion, be sure to smash that thumbs up button guys. But what's most important and the best thing about the basketball community is you guys have an opinion as well. So put your opinions down in the comment section down below what you guys think. Once again, if you're new to the channel and love basketball, be sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss any of my upcoming videos just like this. But other than that, take it easy, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time on Easy Buckets. Woo! Hey, look at that boy, huh? Cooking up joints, like, run at the school, huh? Like, you already know, uh, never got help, uh, so did it myself, uh, doing so well, huh? I bet you can't tell that I've been running, like, this my dance.